the triple C. I'ma make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. For years, I've been telling you guys never to take no for an answer, right? You know, to, to keep pushing, to never hang up the phone until you get what you want. I'll tell you what it is. It's, it's, it's me taking no for an answer, you know? It's them, it's them selling me, not the other way around. It's, it's me being a hypocrite is what it is. So, you know what? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not fucking leaving! The show goes on. I am not effing. I am not fucking leaving. Guys, yeah. Saturday night, dude. It, it, it took me a minute. Was it, was it all or nothing for me? Yeah, and I meant it. Or did I? Or did I really? But have I truly been a hypocrite to myself? You know, the last time, the last time I can remember, the last time that I lost two times in a row, lost to Demetrius Johnson, and then I lost to Joseph Benavides. I went out and I fucking created one of the biggest rampages in UFC history. You know, avenging my loss with, with Demetrius Johnson, beating uh, TJ Dillashaw on EPO, you know, taking out the normal contender Marlon Marais, and obviously you know, knocking, knocking the brakes, knocking the teeth out of Dominic Cruz. <sighs> do I, uh, what is it that I like more? Do I love winning or do I hate just losing a lot more that just maybe want to kind of feel like that? And I think ever since I've been a kid, I've always somewhat been like that. I've been, as much as I want to say that I'm a better competitor, that I am a fighter, I'm probably more of a conqueror, thinking about it now, than I'm actually a competitor. Like, what do I mean by that? It's like, man, everything that I set out to do, I've accomplished. What I've accomplished in combat sports has, has truly been second to none. Like, truly, man. Like, if you guys, you guys may not like me. You guys may not like the shtick. You guys may not like the persona, but one thing you will say, man, like Henry Cejudo has done shit unachievable and has lived maybe about three lifetimes in his actual life. So as I think about it, thinking about getting taken down five times, you know, with Marab, somebody who's, who, who on paper is not at, at, at the wrestling credentials as me. I could also look back and say, hey, you know, shit happens. You know, it wasn't my night. Um, was I 100% going into that fight? I was 100% going into that fight. Where I wasn't 100% in on was uh, in the middle of my fight camp where I wasn't able to use the wrestling stuff. It's the same reason why I got winded round one, or I'm sorry, round two and three. That's not an excuse, he won, he won. I saw, I've always said it before. If you sign on the dotted line, if you sign on the dotted line, that means you fight. Whether you're healthy, whether you're not healthy, did I feel that I feel was was my growing back by the time fight fight time did? Yeah, did not sparring uh, half the camp really kind of take a toll on the fatigue, which which allowed my opponent to to pretty much take the win out of me? Yeah, one hundred percent. But one thing I will say, I just cannot let it roll like this. I just cannot. As much as as much as it hurts, like, I t like again, guys, I take the L. But I cannot take the L knowing the way that I pretty much went out. I mean, I went out. I mean, I don't I don't mind the losing aspect, of it, but maybe just the way that I did go out, the being winded side, the 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 not trying to knock this dude out because I was because I was tired. I think that's the stuff that that really bothers me. So as of today, guys, I was getting ready to announce my, like a couple of days ago, I was literally, I did a whole video on my retirement, thanking my, thanking my family, thanking my friends, you know, thanking everybody who has, has been there. But I'm just, you know, as time sits in and getting a chance to talk to a lot of the legends, uh, you know, I called, I called Daniel Cormier. I talked, I talked to Quentin Rampage. I talked to a lot of guys who, uh, who I respect, who has been there before me. Like, and I, you're like, you know what, Henry? I mean, look at your situation. I mean, you went out 
and you fought the number one guy in the world. You lost a split decision. You went out and you pretty much fought the best guy in the world. Because when this guy gets an opportunity to fight Sean O'Mella or Cheeto Vera, it's going to be easy work for him. So I thought the same thing, Sean. I was like, Sean, this dude's fucking sloppy. Sean, this dude is X, Y, and Z. But it's different when you actually get in. And it's different when you have a pace and a guy that doesn't necessarily have that knockout power or that accuracy, but just has that go in him. And that's what makes him dangerous. It's not necessarily his wrestling. It's his threshold. It's the ability of him continue to keep picking at the pace and keeping it at that pace where, where he doesn't drain his own watt. He got me. I take, I take the L. But I cannot let it sit like this. I just cannot, man. I cannot. I, I could. I could have probably. It would have probably been. It, it would have probably been best if I would have never came back to the sport, uh, because I did retire. And I did retire on top. And why did? Why did I retire in the first place? I've accomplished everything. There is no motivator. There was. I, you want to leave as a fighter on top for the rest of your life. If I could. If I could have it the way Habib had it, it'd be great. But I will say this: There's always gonna be what ifs with guys that never went out there and actually went for it. And what I could say in my position is, you know, the show goes on. The show goes on because, yeah, did I, it was Dana White right that he did leave three years behind, three, three of his prime years? Yeah, I'll give it to him. Recognizing it now, the way that I did feel Saturday, the way that it kind of everything kind of planned, I'm just, you know, you start to kind of psychologically just like, damn. Are these were these were these were these are these dudes right? I couldn't have it any other way. One, if I could change everything, I probably would never come back. But then now that I'm back, now I got a shit where I sleep, and for that reason, man, I just I cannot go out like that. So I'm here today, ladies and gentlemen, uh, taking my word back as a man, confronting you guys, you the people, you my fans, you my family, you my friends, you. The haters that I just cannot go out like this. And guys, to say the least, it is far from over with the triple C. What you have for me, Joe? So now that you're officially not retired, uh, is 145 still the goal? What's the goal now? Yeah, no, the goal right now is fuck, get in that winning column, dude. Like, I, I, I cannot continue to keep stretching... I cannot go after those lofty dreams when I can't, you know, where I'm, where I'm not winning. I got to get back to that win column. I mean, there's a big fight that, uh, you know, a, a big legend just contacted me today, too. And he said, hey, Henry, it would be an honor for me to, uh, to fight with you. You know, let's do it. Let's do it on this month, on this day. And it's, it's, it's one of the greatest of all time. Um, you know, it's, a lot of these things are appetizing for me. A lot of, like, these chips on my shoulders, man, I go back and... I remember losing those. I remember losing twice in a row. And what 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 monster that created, you know? But now at the same time, I also know that I'm up against time, you know. I'm still not too sure what happened with uh, with this form. I'm getting an MRI today. For, in the beginning, I just thought it was like a, a hematoma, but uh, you know, this thing could be broken. You know, I continue to keep feeling that throbbing on my left forearm, which happened early in the I want to say in the second round. Uh, you know, slowly as a fighter, you don't know what's going on, but you know that you're not using the left for maybe for somewhat reason. Um, but I think that being said, dude, I think there's 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 a lot there's a lot of interesting fights for me. Like there really is, man. There's uh, there's still that O'Malley fight. Like I still don't think O'Malley's gonna get past Cheeto. Like we we could we could potentially head that uh, headline something like that in Phoenix. You know, there's that fight with Brandon Moreno. There's that bad blood that you know former training partners that. That uh, that were you know somewhat best friends leading up to the breakup, to you know to having a good nice little Mexican showdown for all you fans. Like I see a lot of the opportunities here, and I think I've always been that guy. Is that if I could give it, I also have to be able to take it, you know. And on this Saturday, Marab Davalishvili, Davalishvili. That's right. I didn't, I didn't butcher that name because I remember it now. You know he did he did rescue me from that fucking fire. You know, I will see those memes for a very, very long time. But who, who hasn't had any of those memes or whatnot? You know, it, it's what it is. I think the way you use it, it's, it, to me, it has nothing necessarily to do with the people. To me, it's just something internal. Like, it, it, was, it, it really never has to do with anybody like that. Because I've, I've always been a selfish human in the sense where 
I just don't give a fuck, you know? Like in the sense where I, I am here, I don't necessarily join the, enjoy the process so much because it's strictly business to me. What I do enjoy it as, as, as I do enjoy the winning. And it's the same, same reason why I retired the first time. You, you wanna leave unblemished. You know, you're, you're such a winner that, that you're like, you know what, I, I, I cannot allow anybody else to come in and, and take this opportunity from me of me leaving like the best in the world. But as of now, I don't have that luxury. Yeah, have I done amazing things in combat sports? Yeah, more than anybody. More than Pereira, more than Daniel Cormier, more than Khabib, more than John Jones when it comes to combat sports. Again, combat sports as a whole, wrestling, uh, mixed martial arts, uh, uh, accumulate the accolades. And why do I bring that up is because I have to. Because if I don't sell my ticket, if I don't sell my ticket, who is? You know, closed mouths, like Uncle Chell says, closed mouths don't get fed. But again, I take the L, I will learn from the L. And yeah, of course, at some point, I am going to want to run it back with this dude. You know, Marab Davalos really is going to get the belt. He is going to stop either Cheeto or Sean O'Malley. I promise you that. I know I saw him, I congratulated him. Like, hey man, your gas tank, your youth, uh, the, the mixing of the fire that you're doing, uh, your composure, it's all up to par. So I got, I pretty much have nothing else to say, but, but it's not fucking over. Guys, you guys want the best. You guys love filet mignon. You guys love shrimp, chicken. Guys, Scottsdale Meat Market has the best meat in all of Arizona. You know what? Let's take let's take it further. All over the damn world. They're shipping too. So you guys make sure to go to scottsdalemeats.com and get your meat on.